organisation. And Willits and Helen, very frosty out there, isn't it? Very festive almost, Alison, as well. But of course, it comes with its problems, doesn't it? We had a frost in central London in St James's Park last night. Minus one, minus two tonight, even colder. And actually, it's going to get colder still Friday night. Probably the coldest night, but staying chilly as we go through the weekend. These are the temperatures across the London region. Now, as well as ice, there's a concern that we'll see some freezing fog tonight, which will add to the icy conditions, if you like. So keep up to date with the warnings. There are warnings out across Essex, for example, because the showers have been coming in here. This is the rain and snow that we had further west of us, but it has dampened the grounds in some areas. It gave us a lot of cloud south of the Thames and the M4. So that warning out for ice and for snow flurries towards the north and the east. But we could also see, as I mentioned earlier, lots of misty low cloud developing some freezing fog temperatures widely below freezing as we saw earlier, but minus four out in the suburbs as well. So it really is a cold night for the capital and the, far, the rest of the London region, as you can see. Now for tomorrow, it's going to take a long time for that misty low cloud to clear, could give a few wintry flurries, but particularly coming into Essex and Kent, as we're seeing at the moment, and perhaps through the Thames Valley, rather a lot of cloud, quite grey and gloomy, but we will see some brightness breaking through and it's going to be cold again just three to five degrees celsius we've had five today and we've still got that breeze but it is starting to ease away a little bit as we go through tomorrow tonight and tomorrow and then we look to the atlantic for our next change it's going to be a slow process bringing in this slightly less cold air off the atlantic i'm not going to call it milder so a lot of fog first thing saturday morning again and a widespread frost colder still and temperatures well it's drier we might see a bit more sunshine coming through but only two or three probably the coldest day so as i say there's just this hint that these weather fronts are starting to make inroads from the atlantic but i think it's going to take into the middle of next week before we really do shift away that cold air so cold and frosty again but do watch out for some freezing fog and a few wintry flurries as we've seen as well making it quite treacherously icy alison Time to add an extra layer, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> well, that's about it from me.